All right, Emma, so today we're gonna draw up and administer a intradermal injection. So the first thing I want you to do is take your needle and syringe and open the package. And, good. and once you take it out, make sure that you um, push down on the needle and make sure that it's secure on the syringe. Good. Um, go ahead and set that down. Um, open up an alcohol pad and we're going to clean the top of the vial. Good. And then what I do is just leave the alcohol pad on top of there so that it's covered while we're drawing up the air into the syringe. All right, so go ahead and pick up your syringe and we're going to draw that um, to the 0.1 cc. All of your intradermal PPDs that we do will be 0.1 cc. Go ahead and take your needle cap off and set it down. And then um, go ahead and take the alcohol pad off the vial. And you're gonna stick the needle straight down into the vial. And then pick up the vial in your hand, right? Push the air into the syringe. And then you're gonna draw the solution back to the 0.1 cc. Go ahead and take that out. Perfect. And you can, um, and what I want you to do is stick the needle into the container, right? And just let it sit there. All right, next thing you want to do is call your patient back. Okay. Mr. Bernard? Okay. And first thing you want to do is go ahead and identify your patient. Can I get your first and last name, please? Yes, it's Carrie, K-E-R-R-Y. Last name is B-A-R-N-A-R-D, Bernard. Okay, and uh, your date of birth? 04 20 And the last of your social? Uh, 1234. Okay, so next thing you want to do is instruct your patient on what you're going to be doing today. Okay, I'm going to be giving you an intradermal injection. Okay, okay. what do I need to do? Lay out your forearm for me, please. Okay. So when you pick a spot for an, um, a PPD, you want to make sure that the person doesn't have any breaks in their skin, burns, bruising, um, veins. You want to go in between those spaces. So like here would be good or... Or over here in between the veins would be good here. Anywhere that's in the forearm area that's not a vein or anywhere that's broken skin. Okay. Okay. So after you figure out where you're gonna go, you wanna take your alcohol pad again and clean the site in a circular manner from the inside to outside. Good. And then while that's drying, you can go ahead and put on gloves. So next thing you want to do, now that that's dry, is go ahead and pick up your needle. All right, first thing is you want to make sure that the bevel of the needle, which is the opium needle, is up so that you can see it. Okay, and then when you go back to the forearm where you're going to give the injection, you want to take your non-dominant hand and you want to pull the skin really tight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then all you're doing is going at like a 10 to 15 degree angle, pretty much flush to the skin so that just the bevel of that needle is going underneath the first couple layers of skin. Okay. Okay. Perfect spot. There you go. Take your, uh, your Don dominant hand and push the syringe in and you should get a nice big wheel. Very good. Take your needle straight out. There you go. And then that goes into the sharps container. Now for these injections, you're not going to put a band-aid over them or mm -hmm. cover them because um, they're for a PPD. So they're testing 
and they may get bigger if someone's been exposed to tuberculosis. So generally we tell the patient not to scratch it, rub it, wash it too hard. We just want them to leave it alone. Okay. Okay? And that's all.